Hello, this is Ted Carlson with Structural Dynamics. This video was put together to give homeowners an idea of what foundation peering is all about. Foundation piers are installed to stabilize and lift sinking buildings. Peering refers to the process of driving a steel pile into the ground, which is then used to support the weight of the building and the foundations. The loads are transferred to the piles with a bracket, which is mounted to the foundation wall. The bracket and pile are referred to as a pier. Some signs of sinking buildings include sloped floors within the home, doors and windows which do not operate correctly, unusually large cracks in the drywall or foundation walls, foundation cracks which are significantly wider at the top or bottom, and sloped siding or brick lines. You know how many contractors I talked to before I fired Ted? Mm -hmm. The, the two guys that called me back and said, yeah, we do that kind of stuff. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Really? You got a structural engineer? What do you need that for? Foundation piers are typically installed from the exterior of the building and in many instances prep work in the form of removing decks, stoops, or sidewalks along with excavation is required to access the foundation walls. After the foundation walls are exposed, the footing is removed at the pier location so the pier can be driven straight into the ground and as close to the foundation wall as possible. This is critical in reducing the forces which want to twist the bracket off of the foundation wall or cause the pile to bend. The peering brackets are then mounted to the foundation walls with expansion and epoxy anchors. The bracketing system was designed, developed, and patented by us and is manufactured in our own facility. All components of the pier and bracket are fully galvanized for a lifetime of service. Our pile driving starts with a pointed cast iron tip which is slightly larger than our pile material. Because of its larger size, the tip pushes the soil away from the pile during the pile driving process. This reduces the soil friction and maximizes the depth of pile, assuring a strong and stable pile for the life of the building. The piles are driven into the ground one at a time. They are stacked and driven in four foot sections. We use a square pile section which is stronger in bending than a similar round pipe section. In some instances, channels are installed over foundation cracks to transfer building loads to the piers. After all of the piles are independently driven, hydraulic hand jacks are set up on every pile so that a slow and controlled lift of the building can take place. Cracks are cleaned out to minimize any binding of the structure as it is lifted. I can see it moving away from its dirt. That don't mean it won't pop off here in a few minutes. Oh. There it goes. Yeah. Got your footing? Yeah. yeah. Don't worry about it, you don't need the footing anymore. Elevations of the building are checked as it is lifted. 37, 7, 8, like. Just keep jacking, just keeps raising your house up. Oh my goodness. So that's what it's doing. Yeah. Hopefully you'll be able to take the newspapers out of there. Yeah, well, you know, over the weekend it got a little cold. <laughs> <laughs> After the lift is completed, cracks in the foundation wall are sealed up. And finally, the peering brackets are locked off to the piles. The foundations are then backfilled and ready for landscaping. <laughs> 